Welcome to the weekend. And now Umberto, by the way, is a hurricane, the third of the season, not a threat to us, but we're tracking this tropical wave in the Caribbean and expecting daily scattered storms to continue. But we take a look at this tropical disturbance in Hispaniola, which is continuing to dump heavy rain across portions of Dominican Republic, Haiti, and is forecast to head towards the Bahamas. Stay to our east as we look at the latest forecast models. However, too close for comfort, right? We're going to continue to monitor this closely over the weekend. So stay tuned as we'll have the latest updates as we're seeing that this system is likely going to become a tropical depression, tropical storm Imelda possibly as soon as later today. Now, at least the models are coming together and showing high confidence that this will continue to track towards the northwest, north across the Bahamas. And eventually, though, big concern here for the southeast coast of the U.S. as it could be headed towards parts of the Carolinas or Georgia. And as I mentioned, the National Hurricane Center is giving this a high potential of becoming our next depression or tropical storm. Imelda is the next name on the list. Here's our next weather tropics tracker, and you can see where Umberto is likely headed and where potentially Imelda could be headed, right? And it's looking like it's going to stay to our east over the Bahamas, but close enough that we're going to have to continue to watch this. A dip in the jet stream is what's expected to then lift it northward, possibly towards the southeast coast of the United States. And thereafter, we'll have to wait and see if and when it might interact with Umberto. But here's a look at one of our more reliable models showing how it's going to bring heavy rain bands to the Bahamas and then eventually will likely continue lifting generally northward. Hurricane Umberto is forecast to become a major hurricane and is expected to move near or over parts of Bermuda. Now, locally, our forecast is quiet this morning. We're seeing a pretty pink sunrise there as we look from our back window and temperatures are in the upper 70s in Broward and Day, low 80s across the Keys. It's going to feel like the upper 90s and hundreds this afternoon. Heads up, still steamy and summery, even though we're kicking off the first official weekend of fall. And if you're headed to the Marlins game, taking on the Mets, a big game tonight. First pitch, 7, 10 p.m. It's going to be a warm evening in the low 80s. If you're headed to the beach, a low risk of rip currents. The UV index is very high. No alerts or advisories for my boaters over the Atlantic waters or for the Florida Keys. As we look at our next weather rain tracker, we may see a few showers this morning, but with the heating of the day, the storms will likely get going in the afternoon, like clockwork, right around when kids are getting out of school in the evening rush could be soggy in spots with a few downpours tomorrow morning for your Saturday, a quiet morning, but then some storms do develop in the afternoon and there could be some downpours as well. So just keep the umbrella close by and of course, stay tuned on air and online as we're going to be keeping you updated throughout the weekend on that tropical wave and highs will remain around 90 degrees and we'll see rain chances lower by next week.